Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I'm wearing one of my dresses. Do you guys remember? The one from, well, I've only done one clothing haul anyway. <laughs> the one from everything five pounds for two pounds fifty. Yes, that's where this dress is from. And I love the dress so much. It's not too short, but I'm at home anyway. I'm not going anywhere. So if I was going out, I'll wear tight, but I'm just at home. So on today's episode, I've had so many questions. Actually, before I go ahead, have you subscribed to my channel? If you haven't, then go ahead. I don't know what you're waiting for. Click that button now. I mean now. Yes, I'm waiting for you. I'm not coming to your house because last time people asked me where was I. <laughs> so I'm not coming to your house today. Okay, just subscribe. Thank you. And watch my video. And suggestions are welcome. If you have anything you would like me to do, talk about. I like to talk, but you have to tell me what to talk about. So really, if you want me to do any, like, talk through. I've been doing talk through videos, right? Yeah. Yeah, so if there's anything you want me to do or that you think if I do, my fans, <laughs> you guys, that you're going to love it, then please leave it in the comment section and I'll be sure to bring it to you. On today's episode, like I said, I've had so many questions about what I'm going to do today, so I decided to bring it to you guys. And it's literally how to know your brushes. Like what brush is used for what, you know, which brand is good, that kind of thing. So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you two different brushes, like two different brands. See, the James Charles one and this one from Amazon. So, yes, um, the brushes I'm going to be reviewing, I already showed you from Amazon and the James Charles one from Muffy. I've opened them up. So, that's what the one in the Muffy one, that's what it looks like. And... That's the Amazon one. The reason why I didn't use the brushes that I was already using is because some of them, the names have peeled off. Some of them, I don't even know where I got it from. But what I know is that these red ones are Juvia's Place. This one is OPV, the pink ones. Um, this white one. I got it from AliExpress. Um, this is Real Technique. And my most expensive brush is that one from Zoeva. When I say most expensive one, it's actually the most expensive one. I got the set that had, I think, 30 brushes. I can't remember. But it, was, it had the maximum brushes in there in a bag and it was 200 pounds but i got that after i did my training with joya denuga and that was what she recommended and trust me those brushes are excellent they are really good i don't use them every day only when i run out of my other ones yeah but the thing i've noticed with all these brushes is sometimes you think oh yeah let me get the cheap one which that was what i started doing when i started doing makeup i was buying it from ebay and I used to buy just the Kabuki ones because they were cheaper. And then the other ones that I used to get from eBay used to be in something like this, which most people have. It's usually like the first set of brushes that most people, when I say most people, I mean you, and I had it. So yes, that's what most people have. And the hair looks like, I don't know how to describe it, but obviously as a first brush, it's quite good. But now, I wouldn't recommend it at all because there's bristles on the brushes that they're too hard. So they don't actually do the job. I don't know if you've seen my previous video that I did with my sister. I shouldn't say this, but you see the condition of those brushes here. Yeah, those kind of brushes, that is what they look like. So literally, the hair, I don't know if it's synthetic. I don't think, I think it's synthetic, but I wouldn't even, I don't know how. To describe it anyway so yes those ones they do the job it's not like they don't do the job they do the job but if you really want a very good job like a very good makeup application like your eyeshadow everything all blended in then you need to invest in really good brushes so I tend to recommend different ones literally even the even the Aliexpress ones they're very good as well you just have to make sure you get the good one which is very difficult and you see all these ones that are expensive, Zoeva, like I said, um, OPV, Murphy. Some of them, all they do is they're selling the names. 
but even though they are selling their names Anastasia Beverly Hills even though they are selling the names when you actually use them you will know that they do the job perfectly well yes that's one thing I've had to learn not in the ad way but over time when I just started makeup I'm the kind of person like nah it's too expensive well, my, you know, why do I need to buy that much? But recently, in fact, not recently, it was recently when Jackie Aina and um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette came out. I got the palette and then you get another brush for £10 from buying it from the website. So I got the... Where is it? So I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour brush, this one. At least... It's almost a year now, De definitely more than six months that I've been using it. The thing, this this plastic has not broken, it's not like lost shape. The mouth is still the same, like exactly the same. Another one of this, which is from the brush palette that I got from OPV, is this one. You see, it's exactly the same thing, they do the same job, it's just the name. So this by itself i think i can't remember but i'll put the link in the comment section the price and this was from a set from opv that i got i think this was two years now that it was during black friday that's when i want to buy anything expensive i wait for black friday yeah and that's because i know the real price that they're selling it on a normal day so when you're buying it on black friday because most of these things even though if they say Black Friday and you think, oh yeah, it's very cheap, trust me, they're not cheap. You need to actually know the prices. If you don't know the prices, they are rip-off. Trust me, they are. If there's anything that you want to buy, write it down, check the price now, and then check it when it's Black Friday. You would see that they, most of the time there isn't much difference. And when you see that it's actually got a big difference, then go for it. Which is exactly what I did when I got this brush. I think I eventually got it for... £50 or £70, something like that. And on a normal day, it's £140. I wouldn't buy on a normal day. But because of that, you know, it was 50% off. I got it. So, yes. Anyway. And this one, this was just one. And this was the first brush that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that Jackie Aina palette. On a normal day, I don't buy things from there. Because I'm just like, it's just the name that they're selling. But when I bought this brush, I knew that, yes. Even though they're selling the name. The product is really good as well. But buying individual brushes from all these, like from these brands, you're going to spend a fortune. So some of these brands, different ones, they actually have sets of brushes. Sometimes they look different and you can get the dupe ones from Amazon, which is this one that I always, I always buy this for my, students like my beginner students when you now upgrade and you know what you're doing you know what brush is for what then you can decide to buy the expensive ones because sometimes when you buy it you will end up just keeping them in the house because you don't know what they do but with this you know i would say cheap because this is cheap it's 24.99 but it does exactly the same job that my zoeva does yes the only difference is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, up to 20. So it's got, this has got 24 brushes and I think the Zoeva one had like maybe 30 or something like that. So usually it's just one thing or the other that is missing from there and, but buying expensive one, if you're a professional that you know you're going to get your money back, you know, from doing the clients, then that's fine. I would recommend it. But for an individual... Unless you're a makeup fanatic like me, then yes, you can buy all these expensive ones. But that's when you know what you're doing with them. If you don't, there's no point buying it. The one I used to buy from eBay, it used to be a set of 10 Kabuki brushes. And yeah, people that know me from when I started my makeup, I recommended this brush a lot. And they're really good. I'm sure if I look around my, you know, my kit, I probably will still find one or two in there. And then the only reason why I stopped buying from eBay was when decide changing the size i don't know if it was that particular person i was buying from but i eventually bought from other ones and eventually when they bring it home it used to be those tiny ones like the kid ones i think i gave the rest to my mom yeah some time ago when i was tidying up the house 
I gave it to my mom. They're like really small. I can't even use it for my foundation. Maybe for contour it's fine, but they're supposed to be foundation brushes. Then I thought, why am I wasting money? Why am I spending my money on this? And then it gets delivered. It's rubbish. So yes, I stopped buying it. Now, to the brushes. This one. I'm going to open. So I've opened them up. And these are the ones from Muffy. And there's 33 brushes in there. That's really good. I think that's actually the most that I found in brush set. And the other thing I've just noticed, which I really like, they've branded the brushes together. So you can see that there's three in this. They are all blending brushes and they put it together. And then the tiny liner brush, there's two in there, they've put it together. So that's really good. And then the concealer brush, there's two, they've put it together. That's actually really good. I really commend them for that. That's like, yes, that's nice. And then even the pencil brush, there's two in there. Which normally when you buy these brush sets, some of them, they are just repeated brushes. You know, just looking different or just telling you that you can use this for something else and things like that. You can use any brush. I say all the time, you can use any brush for anything as long as you know what you're doing. That's why I always say, get you a starter brush set. A starter kit actually and then when you upgrade when you know what you're doing you can start buying those names expensive ones because then you would appreciate it you won't just keep it under the bed not using it I did this for so many years and now I wouldn't want you to do exactly the same thing I bought so many products that some of them I'm just like oh yeah I've still got it in my kids under the bed I still got it. and I still do it down but because I know I'm going to be using it on my clients anyway, so when one finish, I can just get it out. But as an individual, why are you buying all of this? Ask yourself that question. So, to start, I've got this brush from the Muffy one. And it says it's M173. It says it's a chubby buffer brush. So, obviously it doesn't say it on the brush itself which really not very good because if I throw this nylon away without realizing then obviously I wouldn't know what this brush is for so that's one of the disadvantages of some of this brands however looking at it I feel like you can peel that name off the bag it's gonna be a big of you know a big asso but if I peel it off and then pull it put it on the brush oops it's saying no don't try that because I just ripped it I just ripped it so it's not gonna stick on the brush so really that's not very good so for someone that's just started and you don't know what you're doing you buy this brush you didn't even realize the name that you know what is on the bag which on a normal day I don't even read bags I just open it chuck it away and then maybe a week later someone is telling me oh on the pack this thing is there and I'm like oh my god I've chucked it away yes that's exactly what happens most of the time for me, I would use this brush for either blending my concealer for my eyelid or, you know, under the eye. But on here, it says it's a chubby buffer brush. So buffer brush literally is blending. The way it says buffer brush, you know, sometimes you have to go on Google to actually type it to see what it means. But this one's from Amazon looking at it it doesn't have something similar however it's got this one which is close to it but obviously that is too big I wouldn't use that for my eyes and that's why I keep saying as a start when you use this one as a professional when you know what you're doing you know that you know this is precise for blending yeah and one thing that I say all the time is if your br brush is round and fluffy, it's for blending. If it's flat, if it's flat like this, it's to apply your foundation. So this Amazon one really doesn't have the sticker on as well. It doesn't say what it is. But yes, so in the box, you've got this one, which actually tells you what brush is what. So this number five is flat blusher brush that's actually a foundation brush okay so these things can be confusing sometimes with the names that they use so different brands actually use different things like um, this one in here 
that's your brow brush or your spoolie in this this is from the Amazon one and it does have two different brushes in there so this was the brow brush that you know I learned makeup with this was about eight ten years ago that I started learning makeup yes that was the first brush that I used this is the kind of brush that Mary Kay has for your brow as well and this is from Amazon however there's two different ones in there which is this two so brow brush spoolie they do exactly the same job so it doesn't matter you don't actually have to buy two brushes so when you're buying separately or you've gone to learn and then maybe you learn from somebody they've used this and then you learn from another one they've used that they are both doing the same thing if you don't use this for your brow then you can use it for your edges there's nothing else you can use this brush for no so the next one we're going to do is the foundation brush for your foundation you want to use either that flat one that I showed you or something a bit more full in this Amazon one you don't have a full one like that you've got this which is really a powder brush but I can use it for foundation as well if you know what you're doing however in the Morphe one we have got what which is this and it says deluxe buffer brush it doesn't say foundation how would you know what these things are if they don't actually tell you the real name so that is a foundation brush nice round and full that's your book think about it what are you buffing if it's not going to be a foundation you're not buffing your powder when they say buff buff so it's literally tap 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 you know the way we do that foundation tap 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 yeah that's buffing and that's why it's this big one and this one is from Muffy. I've got um, one which is from Zoeva and that says buffer as well so really they are all the same thing it's just the way they do it that is different and then the other thing is your your blending brushes which is the one that you use for your eyeshadow you have different sizes you've got the big one and this one says firm blending crease brush this is your crease you see that dark color where it just goes over my crease there that's your crease and that's where you use this brush for so that's a blending brush and then you have this pointed one which is also a blending brush but a more precise one and it says precision pencil crease brush so you know the way I've done like a rose gold brown dark brown and then a different brown and then that place looks a bit more so if you wanted to add black just to that corner you will use that pencil brush to be precise and that's what that pencil brush is or if you just wanted to put a bit of a highlighter there you use the pencil brush and that is another blending brush and that says tapered mini blender brush all of this are for eyeshadow and then you have this big one which is mini pointed powder brush for me I would have thought that was for uh, that was for contour because I wouldn't use that for powder it's too small for powder you want to use something a bit more big and fluffy this is from the Amazon one so something big like that it takes your brushes and then it helps you to work it around your face really well this one is too small because by the time you take your powder you're only doing a section at a time so really I would use that for contour or for blusher that's a bit more that's more precise so it's better however in the Muffy palette in the Muffy brush we also have uh, which is this one and this one says deluxe pointed powder brush so something more fluffy the one that is full is your powder your foundation if it's fluffy and big that is your powder can you see that that's your powder and this is one from BH cosmetics no from Amazon and you can see that the plastic is already peeling off so that's usually the problem that you have when you're washing and washing but the good thing is the hair is not coming off which is exactly what which is really I just need the hair not the bottom but if that's filling off it doesn't look appealing to your clients as well so you want to make sure you get you know a really good one and even when you're using it for yourself as well so it just gets to a point and you just be like oh this looks disgusting I don't like it and then you buy another one but yeah that's what it is and then another brush 
that I got from Anastasia is this concealer brush and when I got this brush it changed my brow game literally before I would use from Muffy and it says oval camouflage brush it doesn't say concealer but really that's what you would use for brush see sometimes these brushes they can be very confusing but once you know what you're doing like I, I keep saying that you would not have any problem with anything whatsoever so that is your concealer brush as well and this so Muffy Anastasia from Amazon can you see the difference Amazon Anastasia Muffy they are the same but they have different names so really you need to know those brushes so that you will know what they're for but if it's flat etched like that then you can use it for your brow you can use it to apply your concealer you can use it to apply your eyeshadow as well however you've got different ones in each set so this is another one from the Amazon one and that's a bit more fuller and rounder but yeah that's concealer as well and yes some of the brushes they don't change no matter what brand it is but some of them you know they do it differently depending on the brand and sometimes it's just because of the name because of the money if you want to buy an expensive one wait for black friday yeah they do really good sales if it's not black friday let me see what other time that's the only time that i've been able to actually buy really expensive expensive thing for cheap actually the muffy one i got it um during that lockdown they did muffy did a 50 percent sale and that brush i think i got it for 72 pound but on a normal day it's about one one something i'm gonna put all the link and the prices in the comment section the description bar um bar description bar description bar i'm gonna put them there so be sure to check them out and see what they are and um, the main one is this one this fan brush for your highlighter this was the one you know everyone started with very big but then you end up having highlighter all over your face however this palette this brush set they've done it very nicely they have a smaller one as well I would use this one and not this now obviously then this was the one we used not this one so recent well not recently but this has been out for long as well so you're better off using this smaller one because it's more precise it goes to where you want it to go compared to this big one so obviously by the time you put this in your highlighter you end up with highlighter everywhere on your face so really get you a good brush set this Amazon one I'm gonna put the link it's $24.99 like I said it is really good it has the set of brushes that you want in there and then if you wanted something expensive then you can go for that Muffy, OPV, Zoeva they have that as well but be it Amazon or eBay the only problem I had with eBay is I think because of Amazon Prime I'm just more directed to Amazon than eBay lately and most of the time you go on eBay is you know you have to bid i don't have time to bid i just want to buy it now and go away so yeah that's why i think that's why i like amazon actually and then what else what else what else have i not mentioned i've talked about your blending brushes i've talked about your foundation brushes and then the other thing now for your foundation if you don't want to use the buffer one if you don't want to use the flat one your best option is your beauty blender a very soft beauty blender I used to get mine from um, Aliexpress the only problem with Aliexpress is you could win you could lose so some of them it gets delivered and then you find out that oh my god it's really hard you pour water but I would not recommend Primark at all I've bought it from Primark before and I think it was about three or four there was two big ones it was small all of it was really hard if you don't want to go to Aliexpress you know Amazon your best option is your real technique is really soft however the one that i've used for my foundation today is for rem is from um remsco creations on instagram it's really nice and soft 
like when i say soft really soft even softer than the real technique one i haven't actually tried the original beauty blender because i feel like it's just too expensive for my liking i think it is it 16 pound or something like that the last time i checked and i'm just like okay obviously if i haven't got a better option like really soft and you know doing the job i probably would have been tempted to buy it but i've had several ones and in fact in my morphe palette there was a beauty blender in it as well so that's really good which i haven't even used if you're soft so obviously this is not the way you use it you have to wet it so it is when you wet it that you would know if it's going to be soft or not but from touching this now i can tell it's soft the primark one that i was talking about it is really like if you've bought the primark one please put in the comment section how you felt like or how it was even after you wet it it was really hard it's like putting ball on your face that's how hard it is and that's the way the ones you used to buy from aliexpress used to be but now there are better options on aliexpress you just have to take your time and just read through comments you know reviews that people have left don't just say oh because they've sold 1000 pieces you're buying from them some of those numbers are not real you just need to read your reviews and then you'll be happy um i think that's all the different brushes this is another one this long blending one it says it's a pointed blender brush this is from muffy i've got something similar which i got from one of my brush set from amazon is it amazon or bh cosmetics ah that's another brand i forgot to mention bh cosmetics their brush set is really good my first few uh, BH Cosmetics brushes that I got, I got it from TK Maxx. I went into TK Maxx and I just saw it and I'm like, mm, okay, let me try it. I, at that time, I didn't even know what BH Cosmetics was. I just went on TK Maxx. It was $9.99 from, I think, $39.99 or $49.99, something like that. I bought it. In fact, I had to go back to this store and they didn't have it. I went back to another TK Maxx and I bought two different sets. And the brushes, I've had them for more than two years and they're still going strong this is one of it um this is part of it as well that's a buffer brush so really you have different brush sets as long as you know what you're doing with this brushes it's very easy but you know this amazon one is definitely a good one i would recommend any day any time very affordable and then if you wanted something more expensive because you want to upgrade then you can check out any of the other ones that i've mentioned anastasia beverly hills zoeva opv muffy um bh cosmetics is very very affordable as well another one that i have which i've had for a very long time is this one from reju world i've actually when i say long time i've had it for more than two years if not up to four years and then it goes to time she was selling in nigeria I'm sure she really did well and the brushes are very good even though some of the parts is already peeling off but I still got the whole set like everything I think it was it was about 12 or 15 that was like the one that had the most set and it was 60 pound or 80 pound at the time I really cannot remember I'm not sure if she's still selling it but the brushes are very good like I've still got the old thing from the brush I've just washed some of them as well but yeah it's really good so another brush is this flat edge brush which is also for your brow and on here it says flat concealer brush so you use it to clean the brow so that one that i've used for my brow is this flat one or that round one that i showed you before some brands do it like this before can you see how small that is that is too small if you're using this for your concealer you're going to be sleeping there and then brow is something that when you start doing you actually get fed up of it because it's taking too long so imagine using this tiny brush to blend your concealer guys change your ways okay i don't think there's anything else i need to say i can't think if you have any question leave it in the comment section if there's any brush type that i didn't talk about that i didn't mention then please put it in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer you but i feel like i've talked about all the brushes juvia's place is good as well but not 
it's not available I, I don't know if beauty bay has all the brushes now but from last that i checked their brushes were only on their website so the ones that i have i've had to buy from their website and then you have to pay for custom fee which is a lot so really you've got better options than having to pay 70 something pound for dhm for fedex um custom fee so yeah but you do have different options out there so guys, if you have any question, please leave it in my comment section. And I hope I've answered this question properly. Yeah, if I forget anything, remind me. I cannot remember. But yes, I will see you next time in my next video. And talk to you later.